What if I told you that there was a powerful software out there that can help you steal sounds? You want an acapella for a song, but it doesn't exist? Well, you got it now. How about there's a sample that you really like, but there are drums or vocals in the way? Well, let's get rid of those drums. How about you really like those drums in the song, but you can't get them anywhere because you don't know the producer? Well, guess what? You got them now. Every serious remix or sample based producer could use RX-8. Trabtendo. So I'm gonna test out the new module, which is the guitar denoise module. I'm gonna see how good it works. I'm gonna use an acoustic guitar. I'm gonna use this Astro microphone that I'm talking into right now. So I'm gonna show you the my guitar here. It's my baby, which is this Taylor. There you go. And I love her. Um, we're gonna see how good it goes. So what I'm gonna do is just set it up for recording. You just arm it to right here. And then, you know, I'm gonna make sure, well, it's on mono, but you can select stereo and stuff like that. I'm gonna keep it at 44.1 kilohertz, hit okay. And then when you wanna record, you just hit the play button right here and you're good to go. So I can just hit space bar. So let's do that. Uh, now we have everything here so you know there's a few things you could do you always can trim you know control x would do that at least on windows or whatever which is by the way this is on both windows and mac and i had a part where i could said all right i believe all right yeah so i can get rid of that because it's not the the focus of this right here is the playing uh or the lack thereof from the amateur guitars here all right so now that we have that uh what i'm gonna go ahead and do here is uh Let's go over here to guitar denoise. Let's go over here to guitar denoise. And once we hit that, uh, we will see a module. So we have the guitar denoise module over here. It says uh, learn amp, it says learn squeaks. Uh, and this is pretty much like how some of the other stuff was. So I can go ahead and preview it. Let's go ahead and preview it together. It gives you tool tips so you know what it does. And that's some of the things that I really like about the Isotope plugins or any plugin for that matter. So that's always a plus. So let's go. All right, let's, all right, let's hear the OG version. So I'm gonna go back to undo again. Hmm, so all right, so let's go ahead and redo that and hear how it sounds. So this time I'm gonna play this guitar, which is my Luna guitar here. I'm just gonna show you, and of course you're, you're gonna see it. So let's go ahead and do that and record it in. Let's hear that recording, what we had from that recording here. And so th this one's perfect. So you can actually hear a lot of the pick and it's supposed to remove pick and stuff like that. Some of the things that I don't know, I, I kind of like to keep, but I'm gonna go ahead and just use the gu the guitar module again. So hit the guitar denoise module. You can again preview it. Remove the pick. So you can actually hear some of it right there as I do the preview that it's, it's getting rid of a lot of stuff. So the general purpose of the software is to fix dialogue and stuff like that. But you know, you have different tools, especially like music rebalancing or whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, music rebalancing here. Uh, it is over here at the far right of the screen. This is where all your modules are at since I've never done a video on RX for purposes. 
But uh, other than that, you can see you can remove vocals, bass, and percussion, just like at, in the intro of the video, uh, what you saw, uh, and you can get some pretty decent quality. Quality feature is not something that I saw in the RX-7. I do not remember that, and I use RX-7 faithfully, especially for sampling. Now, what I'm gonna go ahead and do here is just set up a file or two. I'm just gonna go and grab a file, so I'm gonna go over here to open, and you know, you can just grab something. So I'm gonna grab uh, something that is known, but I'm gonna try uh, not to get a copyright claim. Say I, again, if I wanted the claps or something like that, you know, you just highlight a region. What I what I like to do is I just chop off a region because if you put in like a long, long file, not per se anything like a length of a song, but like an album, you know what I'm saying? It will be quite difficult to get these, uh, to get what you want out of it, or it won't be difficult. It'll just take a longer process. At least it did on my older computer. But so you just go into music rebalancing over here and then you pull up music rebalance. So I just want to go ahead and just grab these vocals. The best thing you can do is just go over here and just grab this, that, get those vocals. Let's go best quality because I haven't heard it yet. Just do a render here. I'm going to go ahead and render it. And it's going to take a second or two to do the music rebalancing because what it essentially is doing is removing some of the spectrum of those frequencies so that you can have the acapella and then we're going to judge it from here and then we'll know. So you'll see me in a second when it's done. So this is what I got from it from just best quality, but at 38%. For a long time, Robin nigga, for a long time. Yeah. So you can actually hear just uh, some remnants of the actual melody itself there as my dog jumps off my shoulder. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to rewind it back to what it was beforehand. Here, undo and then play a little bit from that part. For a long time, long time, came from a long ride. So, yeah. Also, another feature is that you can separate all of this at once. So that is one thing I want to show you guys. So. So the last feature I want to talk about is this right here, which is spectral recovery. So spectral recovery is right here. And what it does is it repairs like frequency content of some sorts. So what I want to do specifically is focus on like a podcast that I did with a TM 88. So I'm going to rip that down and yeah, I'll have that link at the top right of the screen if you want to see that. And yeah, let's go ahead and rip it down and repair some of the audio. Cause it was kind of crazy in that. So as you can see right here, the, the file is pretty, it's pretty packed and clipping. Do one thing right here, which is uh, declip. Uh, let's go ahead and declip this up here. I'm gonna just go ahead, go ahead and do uh, uh, makeup gain, take that down because it's just too loud and try to remove the clipping here and just do render. So it'd be a minute for it to happen because this is a long file. Boom, so now it's not as sausaged up it's a little less sausage. It looks more like I. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How you like that though? Man, I love it. So I'm gonna pull up spectral recovery over here in the modules, and it's already putting in its work and reading what it needs to repair. So let's uh, hear a preview. I got, I got the big boy shit too. I got the. All right. So what we're gonna do now is just go for a quick learn. You can learn it. So you can have it learned of recovery what it needs to fix. And that's what it's doing right now. So I'm finished with the process here and the special recovery does take a long time. Even for like a 16 minute clip, it took 13 minutes. That's pretty long. So I couldn't imagine using this on like a one hour podcast. It probably would take forever. I don't, I don't know, but it's still there though. So let's hear what we have. Uh, I couldn't afford an NPC. So it was like, right, I had no to, doubt. I had to, I had to get, the stuff that I and let's hear it beforehand. So I'm going back. I'm pressing Control Z. I always wanted to use the NPC. It's just you know just come just coming up and you know. Yeah, I actually can hear it. So it does recover some of the higher frequency content, and it sounds a little better. I ain't gonna lie. So tell me how you feel about this video. I got some pros and cons for you. So the pros, I really do like the guitar denoise tool that they added. I think it's really strong because sometimes when you play the guitar, you don't know how hard you're hitting it with the pick, especially if you're recording it through a mic and you're doing acoustic or something like that. Yeah, it's really good to have that as a backup for whatever you're trying to do, both independent or major label or whatever. It's a really good tool for that. Another funny but cool tool is the Wow and Flutter 
I think it's great for sample snitching, and I also think it's great for if you're trying to use like vinyl and the vinyl is bent up or something like that, it does its job, though it, as a con, it kind of speeds up the record a little bit. I don't know that for sure. I just tested it out on one of my lo-fi beats. Another pro but has a con is the spectral recovery. Spectral recovery is really good for podcasts and stuff like that because it can rebalance everything in terms of your mixing. And I think it's really good, but at the same time, it takes very long. Through my testing, I had chopped down a two hour podcast down to 16 minutes and it still took 13 minutes to render it over. But boy, once it was done, it sounded better. But I can only imagine how long it would take for a two hour podcast to get that great treatment from the spectral recovery. Another great tool I do like and I gotta talk about because they did work on it and that's the music rebalance. Now you can get stems and I think it's really good though it's not gonna be perfect. I don't expect it to be perfect, but for remixes and stuff like that, having some of the main elements, just tiny bits, it doesn't really hurt as long as you get a large amount of the vocal. And with drums, of course, when you rip your drums, you're gonna get a little bit of fluff, but I think if you use Spectral Recovery, you can get a lot of your snap back into your drums. That's just the tip. Do I give this the stamp of approval? If you like a dirty tool for production, oh yeah, I approve.